Good morning and welcome back to Breakfast Television. Fear of a Dead Man is what you're listening to right there. And you could be listening to them live tomorrow night at Harbor Fest here because we're broadcasting live from Kenora for one of their biggest events of the year. There's great music every single evening. There's a whole bunch of fun stuff for the family. And you can learn a little bit about their amazing arts community here in Kenora. Tell us a little bit more about that. I'd like to introduce you to Gord. So you're working on a production, a play that we can go see, and it's going to teach us a little bit about the history of Kenora. That's right. The, the show is called Rats. It was written by a local playwright. Uh, Phil Burke, and uh, it tells the story of Kenora's name change. Kenora used to be called Rat Portage, and uh, just at the turn of the century, they changed the name to Kenora because there were some businesses who didn't like the word rat uh, in uh, in, the, in the city name. I can't imagine why a city wouldn't want to be called Rat Portage. Well, that's me too. But uh, anyway, they didn't. So uh, the name was changed to Kenora, and uh, Phil Burke has fictionalized the story, and it's uh, a humorous little romp through some of our history. Okay, cool. So a nice little comedy show. When can we check this out? Uh, do, uh, August 13th to 17th. All right. Something to look forward to for uh, when we're coming down to Kenora. Now, to tell us a little bit more about the arts community, I'd like to introduce you to Betty. So when cameraman Justin and I were driving into town, we were passing this park, and we saw all this beautiful art on display. Can you explain what you guys are doing here? Well, the outdoor art exhibit is an exhibit that we've put on for the past five years and it's an exhibit that is uh, for local artists as well as area art residents uh, that come in the summertime it uh, is um, it is for sale as well as an art exhibit we have youth we have uh, more mature artists and uh, it's uh, through located through a number of the parks uh, in Kenora uh, at uh, Memorial Park where we are here to, or at uh, McLeod Park here today at Memorial Park and over at the Discovery Center. Oh great so three different spots and yes. if you're if you're not familiar with Kenora look for Husky the Muskie the big fish that's where one of the sites are where you can check out the art and uh, enjoy it or if you'd like to own it that's something that we can do as well. Mm -hmm. uh, any particular themes or everyone has sort of their own idea? No every year we choose a theme and this year's theme is elements so it's always interesting to see how artists interpret the theme and the, and we've got a combination of uh, some uh, different formats in terms of glass as well as uh, paintings and and copper pieces it's very interesting right now uh, actually we have art in action right now I'd like to introduce you to Kelly from the Lake of the Woods Arts Community uh, Kelly a beautiful piece that you're working on here can you tell us a little bit more about uh, the Lake of the Woods Arts Community and what it does for artists like you well, there, it's a great organization that brings awareness, cultural awareness to Kenora's artists and people, uh, promoting the arts in Kenora, uh, through theater and through visual art, musical art. Uh, it's good to be involved and, uh, you know, support. Right. Can I ask a little bit about the style? Cause yeah, you got an interesting look to what you're doing here. Thank you very much. Uh, my style is, uh, I guess influenced from the Woodlands artists. I develop this as, uh, the cartoon or the gesture portion and then I build it up from there. Um, and I like to work in, uh, you know, uh, raw colors, you know, full chroma, lots of color jumping out of the painting. So this will develop quite a way after. Right. And just quickly before we go, uh, if you want to pick up uh, some of your artwork, can we find that in Kenora? Right now I'm exhibiting at the Tangled Tree Gallery, which is located on Mill Tree Kenora. There to feature in every week. Lots of great things to check out in Kenora all summer long, but in particular for Harbor Fest this weekend. If you want information about the bands, the family activities, just go to our website at breakfasttelevision.ca. We still have so much more to show you, but right now, check back in with Jeremy and Courtney. Thank you very much. Beautiful, beautiful looking place. Yeah, it's a fantastic place to go this weekend. Maybe you're feeling bad, everyone else is a delay, they're going away. Head to Kenora, it's not too far away, family friendly, take the kids for a day of fun. And uh, like Drew said earlier, they'll be sleeping the whole ride home. Nice they, and quiet, tire yes. them out. The ride there, we can do nothing about, but the ride back, they'll be exhausted. Yeah. Now, you want something a little closer to home coming up on BT? A great way to cool off. We'll talk about uh, 30 years of uh, slipping and sliding and having fun at Fun Mountain. Plus, Woo! what they've got waiting for you beyond the water slides. We've got that and more coming up on BT. Cowabunga. Just have a cool time.